Hello there. Some of you guys were asking about this thing. So I'll show you guys how it works. It's a monitor arm and I'm using it to hold the, uh, the frame while I'm welding and various other things that, you know, the clamp can hold on to. Okay, so the first thing I'll do is attach it and I usually attach it to the back. Actually, I'll attach it. Uh, it depends on what I'm welding. Uh, sometimes, I think in one of my videos, I had it attached to this side of the table because I had it hanging out this way. But it's kind of the nice thing about this arm is you can uh, attach it anywhere. All right, guys, here's the arm. And all you do is you just stick your frame in there or whatever tube or works best with tubes, uh, whatever you want to hold and you just clamp it on. And then you can just kind of can move this thing any way you like. It articulates just like articulates just like a monitor arm would. And uh, yep, pretty useful. It's kind of nice, like when when you're welding, you can like put it down. Pretty, oh, I don't know if you can see that, but you can put it down pretty low. And again, like I said, like you can take this arm and put it anywhere on the table, so it could stick could stick way out. All right, so this um, this cable here is a ground. And what I'll do is I'll like I'll put it like this and then throw my throw my ground my welder ground there. And you can see I have the ground looped up the arm and it's got zippy ties just holding it on. And then it just kind of wraps around uh, this clamp. So that when I stick a tube in here uh, it's touching the ground. And uh, this clamp is a, it's just a simple vice grip. And uh, I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's welded onto this, this plate here. And uh, it, everything else is pretty standard. It's just a monitor arm. But I'll show you uh, a few tricks to this. I'll start with the head of this thing. So the first modification I had to make is uh, I had to uh, cut one of these springs. So you'll see here, there's a spring. And what this does is it, it, uh, it makes this hold the weight of what would normally be a monitor arm. It holds the weight of the monitor arm up. And uh, you can see right here, there's a little, um, the part of the spring is latched around this little tab. And that's how it, it, uh, that's how it springs up. And uh, there was another one right here, and that was latched around a tab as well, but it was uh, it was too springy. It was like too strong, so I cut it. I just snipped it right off there. So there's only one side that makes it spring up, and that seems to be the right amount of, um, I don't know, springiness. <laughs> All right, so working our way down, the next part that was too springy was this. It was, uh, had a lot of uh, spring or ten uh, tension pushing it up, again, to hold the weight of a monitor. And uh, so what you got to do is, in here, there's a hex screw. It tensions the spring in there. And what you got to do is you got to stick a, a hex wrench in there and loosen it up all the way. I'll zoom in so you can see it. Okay, now for, now for the final modification, you'll notice that when I push this down, it does this clicky, clicky thing, so I can have it at different heights. And the way I was able to achieve that is by grounding, grinding notches into a thing over here, which I will show you guys. I wish I knew what to, what to call this stuff. I don't, so <laughs> sorry about that. Um, yeah, so without grinding notches, uh, again, it's too springy and it, it won't like, it won't stay down this far. It'll always try to spring up to about, to about here. So I'll show you what's causing this to notch like that. Actually, you can, you can kind of see right here. So I'll zoom in. 
All right, so here's the top view, and this was normally a smooth, round, like this round, circular thing. And there's like a um, there's like a roller that's normally rolling along this surface, and as the roller gets lower, this surface uh, uh, the diameter gets larger, and so it's pushing the spring. What I did was I ground these notches into it. And the way I did that is I actually had to lift it up all the way so I had access to it. This is uh, the thing that I ground notches into. And all I used, I just used an angle grinder to do this. You gotta have like a, you gotta really kind of prop yourself up so these um, notches come out okay. <laughs> Uh, and you just kind of test it out like you'll know if it's working when you start to push this down if it stays then you've you've ground enough material off so that's kind of how I did it I just kind of I just kind of went with the feeling of it and it ended up like this all right guys that's all I have to say about this see you later